lobster! Starfish! Hey guys! Today we're going tie pulling with my friend Audie, the otter! Because he's an expert at tie pulling! You never know where you will find in the tie pool! Let's go! Wow! Look at all those rocks! Let's go flip some! Very slippery! Careful guys! First find! A hermit crab! Hermit crabs are not real crabs. They don't have a proper shell. Luckily, they can crawl into a snail shell for protection. Hi, friends of Ares Nature Guy. <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's flip this rock. <gasps> I see something. Gotcha. That's the crusher claw and that's a scissor claw. Yes, exactly. Two different types of claw. Lobsters have two kinds of claws. One, which is the big one, is called the crusher claw. It is used to crush open shells, so it is very strong. Second claw is called the scissor claw. It is small and skinny and quick. Like this. It's huge. So this one is missing a claw. A claw, so we call it a cull. C U L L. Hi, he's missing a claw. But don't worry, lobsters can rebuild their claws. I'll show you. You see that? That's a new claw coming out. Did you know that lobsters have strong tails that they use to propel themselves away from predators? Now that's a neat getaway, huh? Guys, let's count how many legs they have. Oh. One, two, three. They have eight legs. Do you want to hold them both? Yes. Okay, two ice cream cone hands. What's that? It looks like a shrimp, but it's actually a baby lobster larvae. Let's take a close look at him in the bucket. And just add it in a little bit. He's so tiny and cute. Aww. Baby lobster take five to eight years to become an adult lobster. I'm not even eight years old yet. Huh? So this is a sea straw. It's missing a couple of legs. It's going back right here. Put them underwater for a break. There. So here are his two regrowing legs. They're pretty sensitive, so I don't want to touch it too much. And here are the two feet. Flip them over, and do you guys see this little dot right here? What are these? That is a sea plate. It gets water into his body using that hole to move his two feet. Sister's body moves by using a sea plate to pump water all around the body. The water flows into sacks which move the water around, moving the two feet. That's how they move. And they can move in any direction they want. Remember to always send our friends home safely. I hope you have a fast recovery. Hold on. I see something. That's a flounder. Look, guys. Flounders have a very flat body that helps them to blend in with their surroundings on the ocean floor. Hey, do you guys remember Freddy the Flounder from Baby Tail Aquarium? Where is Freddy? 
and he's so good at camera watching. Like, all I can see is this eyeball. <laughs> Are periwinkle snails, and some seaweeds like to grow on them. This is some bad hair day for the snail. <laughs> <gasps> Do you guys see anything scary? Here is a baby surgeon. Run! He feels a little prickly, but he's totally harmless. Aren't you squeeze him. Don't do that. And that's his mouth. Sea urchins have a star-shaped mouth. And they have five teeth. <gasps> oh, I can feel him. His two feet are tickling me. <laughs> oh, hey, Shrimpy. His feet has suction cups. And he's stuck into my hand! Are you living in the water? See? He's stuck. He's officially stuck. Time to go home, little buddy. I'm Aaron from Aaron's Nature Guide. And join me to save the world one prayer at a time. Subscribe!